Hi, my name is David Albrice. I'm from RDH Building Engineering and I'm here today to answer the question, what is a depreciation report? In British Columbia, we refer to it as a depreciation report. Elsewhere in North America, it's known as a reserve study or a reserve fund study, but essentially they're one and the same thing. In December 2011, in British Columbia, new legislation was enacted making it mandatory for strata corporations uh, to commission these reports. Strata corporations are known elsewhere as condominium corporations or homeowners associations. On the whiteboard behind me, we have uh, I've laid out a, a rough um, sort of network diagram to, to, to explain, uh, to help me explain what is a depreciation report. The regulations require, firstly, that every depreciation report must contain two parts, a physical analysis and a financial analysis. The physical analysis, firstly, is answering the question, how long do things last? So let's take, for example, the roof on our building. How long will it last? How many years of life do we have left before we have to replace that roof? Similarly, we could ask that question, the boiler in our mechanical room, how much life does it have left on it? Or the carpets in our hallways, or our exterior fencing. For all the different assets of our building, how long will these things reasonably last? The financial analysis is answering the question, how much money will we need? So if we go back to the example of the roof on our building, how much money are we going to need to replace that roof when it gets to the end of its life? So first we, we can see that the physical analysis informs and provides information towards the financial analysis. Here we're getting down to the dollars and here we're talking about service life. How long do things last? Service life. Now, the financial analysis in turn is made up of two parts. We have on the one hand an expenditure plan, on the other hand a funding plan. Expenditures, how much money will we need? How much money will we have? Now, we get to this expenditure number by adding up the costs of all the future projected replacement costs of all the different components of our building, our roof, our boilers, our hallway carpets. Together these two co combined give us our total expenditures, all the different uh, items together. The funding plan is how much money are we currently setting aside in preparation for these future projects. Now, all of us, all human beings, we have this perennial problem that we never have as much money as we need. Well, most of us at least. Certainly myself. I know that in the building in which I live, we don't have as much money as we need and we're working hard towards getting there. And the beauty of the regulations in British Columbia is that we are required to provide at least four alternative what-if what if funding models. In other words, different paths to get from where we are to where we need to be, the regulations require at least four funding, funding models, what ifs. And the point here is to provide the owners with a sensitivity analysis to identify what path is comfortable for, the, for that owner group and, and what, what's, re, what's considered reasonable. Every condominium corporation is different and funding expectations and requirements are different from building to building. The owners will select one of these four models as their preferred model which will then be implemented for the next fiscal year as the budget funding for that year. And the regulations require that the study be updated every three years. In British Columbia, it's every three years. In other jurisdictions, it's shorter or longer. It, it, it's, diff it's different across North America, but generally three years is considered a reasonable cycle for updating these studies. Because what happens is every three years, the updated study would recognize what work has been done, what work possibly hasn't been done and has been deferred or postponed. Folks, you can clearly see that it is a, it is a cyclical process. It's repeated on a three-year cycle and the physical analysis is the foundation for all the information and then the financial analysis is built on top of the physical analysis. Thank you. I hope that that was a useful introduction for you.